first game of the day, Power take on the Jacks. Roger Clemens in attendance to watch his son. Likes what he sees early. Kobe Clemens doubles off the wall, but the Power leave him stranded. Power pitchers have four pickoffs on the day, but this one gets away from Blake Babnick, and Ray Hernandez goes all the way from first to third. Bobby Martin takes advantage, driving in Hernandez to make it two to nothing Jacks. Later on, Anthony DeSomo with a shot to short gets through scoring Gabe DeMarco. A few batters later, Tyler Eichmeyer slaps one to left. Trey Austin scores, sack fly for Eichmeyer. That would make the score four to nothing. Nathan Wheelock pitching. Aritz Garcia grounds one to third. Slick snag by Spencer Dugan who gets the out. The Jacks limit the power to just two hits on the day. Nolan Krivijanski to close. He gets Matt Garza swinging. Jacks take this one four to nothing. The next game features the Coyotes and the A's. Second inning Mike Meany with a fly ball to left. Outfielders run out of real estate as that one is gone. That put the A's up two to one. Coyotes would score twice, but Zimmerman's still on the mound. Taylor Jockers hit a fly ball to center. Trevor Willis can't make the catch. Two A's would score on the play. A's go up four to three. Coyotes answer again. Daniel Covert at the dish, and he rips one to left. Danny Dyer would come in to score. A few batters later, Chris LaPena would drive in Sean Jarrett. The Coyotes would add two more runs when Dustin Smith brought Bobby Hillier home with Sean Jarrett close behind. Coyotes roll on nine to five. On paper, game three was between the Snowbirds and the Blue Sox, but the game quickly became the Blue Sox against Seth Howe. Howe had yet to allow a base runner in five innings of work, and that continued tonight. Going three innings and striking out all nine batters he would face, setting a California Winter League record in the process. The six foot five right-hander left hitter after hitter baffled as they came up empty. Howe, who had two perfect games in junior college, knew that tonight's performance was special but not unheard of. Uh, I guess any times nine in a row is not necessarily normal, but I've done it before, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's exciting when I'm not done with that. Howe needed help though, and he got some from Troy Zawatsky, whose liner deflects off Edward Jamerson's foot. Zach Broston scores from third. Ne Next batter, Jamerson's pitch gets past Brandon Pearl. Sean Campbell capitalizes, and the Snowbirds stay undefeated with a five to nothing win. Yeah. 